On today's stream, I reacted to more TikToks. But these weren't just any old TikToks. This wasn't a simple watch. These were tough watch TikToks. You're the type of TikTok that makes you want to crawl up inside your own skin and hide forever. That. Basically anything you could open the comments on and just scroll through endless seas of tough watch. That sort of thing. So I had you guys send me TikToks like those to see if any of them would break me. And you guys did not disappoint. So if you do enjoy, please do feel free to subscribe. I react to plenty of TikToks submitted by you guys over on my Twitch, which I'd love for you guys to tune into live. But if for whatever reason you can't, you can sub to this channel so you never miss the upload of VODs here. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Let's get straight into this. Music. Sorry, but I don't need you no more. We've got our first... Hard watch TikTok to watch. <laughs> James, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys are going to love this stream, James Marriott Raiders, and let me explain why. People, welcome to this Jack Manifold stream. Now, you may notice that the initials Jack Manifold and James Marriott, well, they're the same. They're names that share a striking resemblance. And what also strikes, well, what also shares a striking resemblance, sorry, is this stream to a previous James Marriott stream because it's directly stolen from him, in fact. You see, guys, I saw that James reacted to tough watch TikToks. Now, if you want a connoisseur of TikTok cringe, a guy who loves to go on TikTok, watch a video, open the comments and see tough watch as usual, Cal, Dave, Steve, whatever the fuck their name might be. It's me, okay? I love it. I love watching uncomfortable things. So, let me have a swig of my AJ. Look at apple juice AJ over here. That's the type of people we are. We're going to be watching some of these TikToks. We just started our first one. It wasn't that good. It wasn't really a tough watch, watch to be honest. Can atop that Jack Manifold grind by yes! Thank you, Emma. Um, you're in a tornado. Oh my god, I apologize. I don't know how you're watching this. I hope you're not... I hope you're firmly, you know... He leaked his music. Alright, fucking... Sometimes my brain runs off with itself, right? Sometimes it runs off with itself, uh, and it wants to say things, uh, and and uh, sometimes it, it just shouldn't. Uh, and and today was one of those days, because you see, you said he leaked his music, and I was going to respond in a sort of epic, like who cares sort of way, and and and, and I'm gonna say that now I I I I take this back. Can I just say, I take back what I was going to say. Can I just say this? But I was going to say, you you guys said he leaked his date. And I'm like, okay, and my dick leaks come. And I, that was what I was going to say. And then I thought, why would, that's disgusting. And it doesn't. Can I just say that? And it doesn't. But I that was what I was going to say. And I just wanted to own up and be open and honest and vulnerable in front of my audience so I can, I can, I, I could, I, I, you know, I wanted to you to praise me for, uh, for reflecting on that. I think shit leaks out of my ass would have been funnier. And I think I would have said that. I think if that, if, if cum wasn't the first one, uh, I, I, I might have actually went with shit leaks out of my ass. I think that's a funny, I think it's a funny little response, you know? Like if I was to turn around and go, <laughs> if I was to turn around and go, oh yeah, well shit leaks out of my ass. So, you know, we're both leaky little guys. That would have been better. Either way, so far the toughest watch has been me. So let's get back into these TikToks, shall we? Uh, let's just watch them. You know, let's just watch um, some of these TikToks. Okay, well, the, well, calm down, calm down, calm down. Come on. Sorry. Hello, music. Let's turn that off. Okay, on to the next TikTok. People who have anger issue. People who have... Oh, they're both anger issues. Now you, you see say OJ and no one bats an eye, but you say AJ and the whole room goes silent. That's what I'm saying, Katie. This society does not ex why have you called us a leaky duo? Really? Leaky duo? Cool, yeah, leaky duo it is. 
Yeah, we both leak in our own in our own special little way. We're leaky, we're leaky little guys. This this wasn't that uncomfortable. I feel like if you'd have just sent me the video on the right, like crop the girl on the left who's clearly like ironically taking the piss out the guy on the right, I would have been like, that's a tough watch. But I think because she's there aiding in my like, oh, okay, Hello, someone Mr. else Manifold. is is taking the mic out of this too. Society because of you and my old plastic skeleton. Oh, I know you. Thank you so much for the 10 months. I appreciate it. Who else at who else months. actually has anger That's issues like though? Months, guys, hand like guys, twice. hands up if you have anger issues. Me, sometimes I get mad, sometimes I shout. <laughs> no, anger issues are a real thing. I just you know. Everyone in chat saying me. You don't all have anger issues. It's called getting angry. It happens. You fuck it. You shout a lot. Yeah, I don't have anger issues though. I just I'm loud. Too many of you are saying me. I don't think all of you have anger issues. There are 2,200 people here. I don't think every single one of them has anger issues. I think you've maybe been angry one time and you're mistaking it. I have 20 holes in my wall, all right? You know, you don't like plaster. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Mm. This shit's incredible. I'm getting through this apple juice, this AJ fast. Let's watch this one more time. If I just like do this. You're all people who have anger issues right now. A guy like me, I'm the... <laughs> you know, I'm that, kind of, I, I'm that kind of anger issues. Anyway. Hi, it's Eddie. What the you fuck okay? is this? Oh, is it Eddie? <laughs> Hi, it's Eddie. Wait. You okay? Sweetheart, I can't understand you. Take a deep breath, please. <laughs> okay. Keep okay. taking deep breaths, okay? What's going on? Is this AI voice? Is this voice by AI? Hey, hey, everything will work out, princess. Life gives us some hard times, but you're strong. You're gonna get through this. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie Munz. We are okay. We will always be okay. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? No, this is good. This is good. I like that it's like obviously voiced by a fucking AI and it reminds me, it has the cadence of the, uh, the Drake AI, you know, when like the, the, the videos with like Trump and Biden and shit. And he's like, Danny, I, did you take my diamonds? Uh, all that shit. Same hey, cadence. Eddie. Let me watch this again. You okay? <laughs> this guy, this guy, by the way, you. can we give this guy an Oscar? Cause the acting, look at this. It's incredible. Take a deep breath, please. Look, he does it. He takes the breath. Yeah. Keep taking deep breaths, okay? What's going on? <laughs> Keep taking deep breaths, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, everything will work out, princess. Life gives us some hard times, but you're strong. He was called princess, so he's okay this. now. He called him princess, and now he's okay. Oscar for the most cringe. No, 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 no. He, no, 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 no. Eddie Munts is cringe. This guy's based. The guy on the right is based. That's what I'm going to say. No offense to uh, any Stranger Things fans. You know, I, I, I've seen some strange things in my life too. I once saw a, a pigeon. Um, and th there's more to the story than that, by the way. Just for you, you know, for you thinking. Logan, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much for the prime, Logan. Uh, yeah, no, no, I, I, I don't even remember where I was going with it. Let's just keep watching. Guys. Oh my, God. hello. Yeah. What? I'm making a video. Okay, that's awesome, but I need you to clean your room. Now, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I really like how they keep acting with the doll. Like, they keep doing, like, they keep talking as if they're the doll and keep moving the doll's head as if the doll is the one talking. <laughs> <laughs> like even like the the mom comes in is like clean your room refuses to break character the doll responds guys I think yeah. I have... what <laughs> what are you doing I'm making a video okay that's awesome but I need you to clean your room but I... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking stammering is it looks left and right. It's great. I, I love the commitment. I really love the commitment. That's not a tough watch at all. That one's fun. I like that one. That one's fine. I didn't. That didn't make me cringe much. This guy isn't a tough watch. You know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, and this has happened before when I asked for cringy TikToks. I feel like people send in guys like this guy. I, I've seen him a bunch. Who are like obviously like like bait cringe. 
Like it's like it's obviously acting and it's like it's it's so intentionally like it's intentionally cringy for the sake of humor But at that point I don't find it cringe like 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 I don't find like people being ironically cringy cringy because they're obviously playing characters And it's like kind of on purpose like I don't it doesn't get to me You know if it's supposed to be cringe it likely won't get to me unless there's like some other layer of irony Where they're sub trying to be cringe, but they kind of fuck it up and then it's cringy in and of itself like, like, maybe that would work. But, like, it, I, I find people being genuine and unaware. Like, to me, the, 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 you, you know what cringe is? If I was to summarize the feeling of cringe. Um, Why have I stayed this long? Because you're, because I'm great and days. worthwhile. You're 19 months. Thank you so much. You won't be watching the top of the hour ad that I'll be running in 40 minutes time that you can only sub to avoid. Anyway, the point. Oh, I, like I clicked play by slamming the table. Please, sorry. Guys, real cringe. This is how I describe the feeling of cringe. Cringe is something that happens when someone lacks self-awareness. Like, if someone is acting a certain way that is making other people uncomfortable or makes them look stupid or something, and they're blissfully unaware and continue doing it, that's cringe. I think while ever there's awareness that one is being cringe, it therefore cannot be cringe through the nature that they have the awareness that they are like acting a certain way like if you're causing discomfort intentionally Then you can't be cringe unless you think you're cool through doing it But you're not coming across cool and then you'll cringe again, but you know what I mean Like it's only Cringe is where where someone is 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 not like there's a lack of self-awareness and that's what it is There you go I'm like Socrates in this. I'm like the Socrates of Twitch. I'd piss myself to prove a point. Apparently one of them did that. I don't know if it was Socrates or like Plato or something, but one of them pissed themselves one time, apparently. Something like that. I don't know. Hey, I really like this. Oh my god, thank you. Wait, I don't have my wallet. Baby, no, leave it. I got it. I got it, baby. No, baby, I got it. Baby, I'll pay for it. Baby, I'll pay for it. No, baby, baby, leave it. Baby, baby, baby. Now this one still kind of manages to be cringe a little bit. Actually, I take back what I said before. <laughs> Struggling to get it out of the cart. That one still man. Actually, that one was a tough watch. Diogenes was the piss guy. Thank you. Uh, that was still tough. That was actually kind of tough. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, no, that one, that one was tough. I, I, I can't argue. It was funny. It was kind of, but it was, I think it was because it was in public and they were talking, talking like this. Yeah, that one, that one, you know, that one got me. I can't, can't lie. Oh, I've seen this. This isn't a tough watch. This is just a king in his stride. Hold on, I've got to solve a puzzle before we can watch it though. I hate when it does that. I like this, I like this guy. He's a king. Listen, not bad. If I want to have a, a swim in my own bin, on the hottest day that we've ever had in England, then I'm entitled to do so. You need to stop me. Uh, you've got nothing to say now, have you? He's just based. That's not a tough watch. I remember that hot day, right? It was a hot day. And the thing is about the UK, like I've been to hot countries, right? I've been I've been in, in upwards of 40 degrees C weather. That's, that's hot, that's warm, right? That's a fucking temperate place. I've been there. I've chilled in it, all right? But the, the, the thing about the UK is, it isn't designed to get like above 30. It was like 30 something degrees. It ain't designed to get that hot. The houses are made to keep heat in. Like there's no AC, right? It doesn't get that hot. It's usually cold. So the, the houses are designed with the sole purpose of keeping heat in. And then the second it gets hot outside, it just becomes a heat I trap in any inside in place. Last five minutes from these TikToks, I'm leaking tears from my eyes. Okay. And I I'm leaking shit from my ass. Is that what you want me to say? Is that, what you, is that the response you wanted? That, I, that shit is leaking out of my anus because I have anal leakage. Is that, is, that's what you wanted, right? You wanted me to talk even further about my anal leakage? You fucking sick fuck. <laughs> I'm not taking it any further. I can't take it any further. <laughs> Like they say he's Sleepy Joe, I'm Leaky Jack, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, yeah, I, I respect that guy. That's, that's all I wanted to say. You know, he wants to sleep in his bin, he sleeps okay, in his bin. Okay, one year of asking if you like sauce, this is epic now. Uh, I, I, I like sauce. One could say I, I'm goaded with the sauce. 
I'm good with the sauce, I would say. Yeah, thank you. This is... Joe Swanson! I fear the ramen super smash, brother. That is a perfectly good TikTok. Can I be for real? It's a perfectly good TikTok. That was not a hard watch. It's a great imp- Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter! It's a good impression. It's a great impression, can I just say. It's an incredible impression. It's not a hard watch. One could argue, right? You're hard while watching. I would- I- and I would accept that. Right? It makes sense. But a hard watch, never. Hard while watching, maybe. Not me, but other people. I could- I could see. That's what I'm saying. He looks like you. That is me, motherfucker. That's me. That's a, that's my TikTok. You see my username on the watermark? It's me. It's a good TikTok. Joe Swanson! Hey, Peter, I'm in Super Smash Brothers. It's a good TikTok. I've made more. Let me find my TikTok drafts. I haven't posted them yet, but I, I made another one of those. Oh, wait. I, I actually won't be sharing that. I remember which... I, I um... You guys uh, seen the dreamy bull memes on TikTok? You guys familiar with those? Just curious if you guys uh, are familiar with, th with, with that guy. Most people say no, but some of them say, okay, some people are aware. Well, I, I did the exact same TikTok formula as you can imagine, but I, 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 I dropped one of his signature lines. Um, but I don't know if I'm, I, I, I wish to share that with the internet. Um, some people, I, I feel like for the people that know, they know, and that, and, and you know. Either way, let's just watch more TikToks and move on from what I said. Oh, okay. That wasn't that hard to watch. It was, it was all right. I suppose it's kind of a little bit like because people are behind them, but like it's obviously just like emo meme. Whatever, man. It's sat it's like quite clearly satire. It's like clear satire. I ain't, it ain't getting me. Either way, let's watch this. Let's watch this gem, but whatever it is. Oh, calm down, Chloe Long name. I we don't. I wasn't ready for you yet. I believe every woman should be allowed to be as annoying as possible without any consequences. Oh, okay. she's being annoying. No, she's being a hero. Won't this bitch shut up? Won't this bitch be brave? Ver than you. She has the courage to keep speaking when the whole room is like, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> she keeps speaking anyway. Maybe you should shut up. Unless you're a woman, in which case, ro roar. <laughs> no, I like her. She's funny. I like that. That's a good video. The, the little stammer on the roar at the end there was maybe the only I tough part. I believe everyone should be allowed base. to be as annoying as possible without any consequences. Oh. I, I like as annoying as possible, by the way, implying that women shouldn't like... She's not saying people should just allow women to do what they want and not be annoyed by them. She's actually saying that women should actively intend to annoy people at the highest level they can possibly muster. Look, that, that's how- that's that opening sentence summed up. Uh, and- and that is- uh, that's a unique standpoint that I don't think many people would take. Every woman should be allowed to be as annoying as possible without any consequences. <laughs> oh, she's being annoying? No, she's being a hero. Won't this bitch shut up? Won't this bitch be brave? <laughs> I love that line. That's such a good line. Won't this bitch be brave? I like that. All right, this TikTok just got deleted, so that's fun. I've never had oh, a you again! Store, but I've had a couple of. Wait, 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 Chloe, please. She gets into him too quick. Horn, gather on my breath because I have hiccups. I've never had a cold sore, but I've had a couple of warm ones. 
<laughs> these are good. These are right. Yeah, these are this is this is the stuff. This is the stuff we need. This is this is the hard to watch kind of stuff. That was good. I want to wait one more time. I've never had a cold sore, but I've had a couple of warm ones. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's the way she moves. <laughs> and then the, like the crawl with like without a cut. Oh, it's perfect. Like no cutaway during the crawl. Like it waits for it to grab the phone and awkwardly turn off the video. It's perfect. It's actually. The move, the move, everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. I, I think I'm, a, I, I, I'm gonna come out and say it. I might be a Chloe long name fan because this is great. I'm enjoying this stuff a lot. Oh, this. Oh, this looks like it could be for real. This looks like it could be for real tough watch. This might be our first actual tough watch. We haven't had any that have really like done me in yet. This could be it. <laughs> Yeah, adult woman acting like an infant child. That'll do it. P adults, adults, d like, d uh, uh, um, um, lip syncing, s the, the voices or sounds of babies will always make me cringe. That, that one will get me. Like, adult woman pretending to be an infant child. Thank you for the, the four months. I appreciate it. Thank you for getting a job to support me. <laughs> Most people get a job to support their family. This brave soldier gets a job to support Jack Manifold, and I fuck with you, Abel, for that. One year of manifolding. Currently suffering over my dissertation, so thank you for keeping me sane, Manifold. Hog Manifold. <laughs> That's all right. I hope it, the dissertation goes well. Thank you for the year. Uh, yeah, this this one was tough. This one was tough. It wasn't awful. It was, the the dog popping up at the end with the vine thud really it kind of saves it a little bit. In this way, I, it's like it helps me. Like it's like it, it bring it, like it makes me think that maybe they in there there was like some self awareness, but I'm not sure. This could also be a difficult one, but we'll see. This could be. Oh, somewhere in between Uwu and Emo. Oh my God! Yeah, that's Emo. That's how Emos look. That's that's how Emos look, and not devils from Satan. That's how they look. I didn't, you know. Uh, hold on, it's pretty uwu. Uh, this moment here, I was like, I didn't think they could get much more emo than this. I was blown away. Like, like, there's a little bit of an attitude there, and they're dressed in black. So, like, I mean, this is about as I, I didn't think they could get. I thought maybe they could, you know, get a little bit more emo. But like, they really. I mean, they go to the depths of hell for this. They really, they got horns and shit. This is definitely that's uh, that's peak emo. I don't think many people could say that without emo. I think many a lot of people like to listen to uh you know your uh, your your, your uh, Twenty One Pilots and uh, 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 um, uh, the one the, the the lead singer uh oh, uh, uh, uh cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. What the fuck is that? Please, it's killing me. And My Chemical Romance, yes, but no. It's not what I was thinking of, but that is a good example. C come on. What am, I, what am I talking about? What, what was that? Papa Roach. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't remember. Either way. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Young Sheldon! I've got, a, I've got a good, I've got, I've got a good Young Sheldon story to tell after this. I have two Young Sheldon. My my life really ties into Young Sheldon a lot. I think my favorite part of this is that it's actually <laughs> the real young Sheldon made this. Re for real young Sheldon made this. 
Young Sheldon, the real life Young Sheldon, him from real life, made this video with these. And and, and look, on the off chance that he sees this, because he might. I know he Man might. I, I'm going to tell you a, st a story in a second that means he might see this. Look, Ian, I respect your work on Young Sheldon. These transitions, they suck a little bit. They kind of... I'm kind of begging that there's irony here. I, I need to like, I want to look at his page and see if they're like, it's just like ironic boomer transitions. Wait for it. No, pull that iPad side right now. You see, okay. No. Okay, I, I think, I don't think there's irony in this. Ian, you can work on the transitions. That's okay. I'll, I'll help you. I can help you. I will help you. I'll edit an Ian Arm TikTok. Yo, you can post Young Shedlonder MP4. Uh, Ian Arm, let me tell you this. Ian, Ian Armitage, let me tell you this. I, many years ago, made a video called Young Shedlonder MP4, which I edited uh, my own take on an episode of Young Sheldon. And I, I will post that to TikTok for you. That's, that's the Jet Manifold guarantee. The reason I think he might see this is because, uh, as you all know, when I did the granddad character for Rambo's dinner stream, uh, I, I I mentioned how he was missing Young Sheldon to uh, to uh, to be there, like he was missing Young Sheldon to uh, to be at the dinner. That was like a a bit of lore. Well, little did uh, you guys know, or little did I know at the time, that clearly. The girl who plays, uh, and I forget, I'm blanking on her name right now, so I apologize. But the, the girl who plays Missy, Sheldon's sister in Young Sheldon, is obviously, I would assume, a Rambo fan. Because I opened my Instagram DMs, like, months later, months and months later. And she DM'd me, saying, like, like, uh, sorry you had to miss I'm Young Sheldon, or something, you know, something, you, like, Jack about Michael. the show. Um, so, th there's a chance... That this then gets back to uh to Young Sheldon himself, so uh, hey, cheers. Check out Young Sheldon on MP4. Show it to the Young Sheldon cast. Get me in as a cameo. I would happily cameo in Young. Is Young Sheldon done? Do they still air Young Sheldon? Is it still an ongoing show? I don't know if it's. Uh, I imagine the Big Bang Theory ran for fucking millennia. Uh, six seasons. Is it still ongoing? I think it's still ongoing. Either way. I will be in Young Sheldon. I will be in Young Sheldon. So, um... Anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> That's all I have to say. Let's move on to the next TikTok, shall we? Turn that, Turn that music off! Okay. I can't believe she did that. I know. That was ridiculous. Shh. You can't tell anyone, though. Mm. <sighs> My mouth is sealed. What? Uh, not you again. I hope you didn't hear that. Um, I think he did. <laughs> uh, you can't tell anybody. Uh, wait a minute. You're the guy from last week. Yeah, <laughs> I remember you. Can you keep a secret safe? Uh, you can't tell anyone her secret. Yeah, I made a pinky promise. That video went on a little bit too long. It kind of started out okay, and then as it went longer and longer. Someone said Carl Jacobs core, and I... Now, why do we associate Carl Jacobs with this? Why is it that Carl Jacobs gets associated with these things? Because I, I love Carl Jacobs, but I, I see it. But why? We need to work that out. We need to work out why Carl Jacobs gives us those vibes. We need to work it out. He does sometimes actually just unironically go, mm. like I've seen him do it. So it's probably just the fact that he does it. <laughs> Either way, um, guys, I have a question. No, um, you know who does the best version of that? Like 2AT, girlfriend of Tommy and M. Absolute spot-on impression of that shit. Uh, she did it the other day at a party for me, and I was like genuinely like like crawling with discomfort. 
She's really good at it. Really, really good. It, like, it unnerved me a little bit how good. James, James has his own way of doing it, but it's, it, it's like, the reason James is so good is because it's so obviously James Marriott doing it. She nails the voice. She could actually voice an anime. She could be Ash, Ke Ash Ketchum. And I'd, I'd be like, was Ash Ketchum's voice? Guys, let me tell you something. I love how animated they are. The way they move. Guys, ah, I've got to tell you something. You can keep a secret. I, I can't even do it. I I'm not as good as it. Either way. Ah, ah. I don't fucking know. I don't know how they do it. It's good though. It's funny. Let's continue onwards. Angel Mortai. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Ooh, this looks like it could be good. This looks like this is a conventionally attractive man. They have tendencies to post cringe shit on TikTok. Conventionally attractive men can be very cringe on TikTok. This is the right. This could be it. <laughs> I'm starting to lip sync the lyrics. It's perfect. <laughs> he's like a cringy. He's like a cringy Walt Jr. Do you not think he looks a little bit like RJ Mitty? Mitty? How do you say it? Mitty, I think. RJ Mitty. Like, do you not think he looks a little bit like Walt Jr.? I have been. At, by the way, I finished Breaking Bad and I've been obsessed with watching video essays about it. I think I know everything about the behind the scenes of Breaking Bad at this point. So, like, admittedly, I've got, like, such bad Breaking Bad, like, brain rot that, like, I, I see everything. I'm like, oh, my God, it looks like Breaking Bad. I hear, I hear the Spanish language, and my brain's, like, Breaking Bad because they sometimes speak Spanish in Breaking Bad. It is that. It is unironically. Like, it's so bad. But this this could be Walt Jr. A little bit. Thank you. It's a little bit Walt Jr. You know. Now you look so much better on top of it. The Do way he talks. Uh, he sounds like he's on his fucking deathbed. Wait, hold on. Now you look so much better on top. Of oh, you look so much better on top of it. Wait, no, let me <clears throat> let me get that voice down. Now you look so much better. Uh, uh, Oh, you look... It's like someone trying to force and forcefully deepen their voice. They're like, Oh, you look so much better on top of it. That's what it is. Horrendous. Horrific. That's the toughest watch we've had today. By far. By a mile. Horrendous. Horrific watch. Walk we may have a contender. Walking down the street, pretty woman. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Hex, hex. <laughs> that might be it. That actually might be it. The fuck? It was the. It was the. It was, it was the. It was fine when they were just singing Pretty Woman and then they went. Mm. And then. And then that really kind of. Then it got tough. Uh, you know, the hex, hex, hex. Hex me all you want. It's, I've been hexed plenty of times, all right? I don't think I've had an ex-girlfriend and then not been hexed, all right? Which admittedly, going one for one is real easy. But st still. All right? The hex isn't what bothers me. It's the... It's the... Mm. It's pretty bad. Let's push that one more time. Walking down the street, pretty woman... I love a German accent. Pretty woman walking down the street. Walking down the street, pretty woman. Pretty woman. Mm. Oh my god. Hex, hex. Pretty woman. Mm. <laughs> it's the, mm, that's horrific. Hex, hex. That's horrific. That's horrific. That's horrific. That is horrific. That's the that's the winner. I can't believe we had like back to back terrible ones, but we did. Oh no, this lady's funny. Wait, hold on. It's 
Making me do another fucking puzzle. This lady's funny. I think I follow her. And then if I don't, I should. She's very funny. I like this one. Rocks on my fingers like a nigga wife me. Got another shorty shit and nothing like me. About to catch another fight. Apple bottom make him wanna bite. <laughs> the fucking bite. The bite. My significant. Uh, wait. I'm just trying to work out the, the, the context though. My significant other asked me to film them dancing, but the camera was secretly on me. Oh, so they're supposedly so my dancing like in front a of nigga her. Wife me. Got another shorty shit and nothing like me. It's good. That is good. <laughs> was that the bite of 87? That's good. Eggs and rice. Oh, oh wait, no, eggs are nice. Sorry. Uh, thank you for the four four months total with uh, gorillas as your as your sub message. Really do appreciate that. This this doesn't seem like a tough watch. This just seems like someone wanted to send a meme, but. Up, down, up, down. They're cleaning their teeth because British people have bad teeth, despite statistics showing that we have on par, if not better, dental health care than the United States. Um, this this has the potential to be a tough watch because it's parasynical. Let's, let's watch this. Sometimes you can be le happy, but other times you can be less sad. Less sad indeed. <laughs> let's continue onwards. That's all. That's all I needed. So I was at the gym yesterday, right? And this lady just comes up to me. 40, yeah, 45 years old. He opened that jaw like, eat with ease. Do you want a protein smoothie? I'm like... <laughs> Why is he struggling? Really like how he's not gonna finish the sentence, because he, he his mouth never empties of peaches. <laughs> what the fuck? You choking? I really want to know what the lady was trying to say, but I guess we'll never find out because he's too busy eating fucking peaches. Damn. The reality of being a gamer girl. Oh, I'm intrigued. I would like, as a gamer boy, this is interesting to me. No! <gasps> Bruh moment. <laughs> this this could be good. I don't know if it's going to be Pretty Woman. This this could be good. GG, boys. We'll get them next time. We, we are going to get them next time. Huh? Did you just say I have a beautiful voice? Bleh. <laughs> I literally sound like a tomboy. <laughs> it's true. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm too much of a dork. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was like other girls. The awkward pauses after the lines, because there's just no fucking music, it's just dead silence. Perfect. Perfect. Cinema. Okay. I'll do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, the first okay. questions. Let's play. <laughs> <I'll be Genji. laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. It wasn't too tough because she's obviously playing into it. I, I can respect some well constructed cringe. I think that's what it is. Like I, I just can't find when someone's intentionally trying to be cringy, cringe because I I I have great deep dying respect for like yeah, you know, like, just intentional cringe. I just, I, I, I have respect for it. I can't lie. You know, a good performance, man. I can't hate on a good performance. Let's see what this is. Me trying to be rational. That is hard. Sometimes I'm irrational too. Sometimes I say things like, 
<laughs> Sometimes when someone just says that someone leaked something, I respond, my cock leaks come. So like I get I get re being rational can be hard too. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's be civil about this. Let's make a deal. You surrender and you don't die. How does that sound? <laughs> and how do you intend to kill us? Oh no, I can't kill you. But my buddy can. Say hi, buddy. <sighs> she's trying to be rational, but her inner demons. Guys, she has an inner battle within that she's losing to a powerful force that she wishes to hide from the rest of the world, lest they know the power she holds within. We all have inner demons, people. Some people don't have inner demons like me. Some people don't have inner demons that could literally, like, kill the whole world and, like, be in charge and basically rule. But, but, like, some people do. But, hey, that's a TikTok for, like, guys like me. So, like, that, that's okay. That's fine. Because, like, not everyone has demons that could literally, like, destroy the entire planet and, like, take control and, like, basically make everyone, like, do their bidding and, like, do evil deeds for them and, like, steal gemstones and, and, and this, that, and the other. They, not everyone can do that. She can do that, clearly, and, and I have respect for that, but, like, this is just my own TikTok. Fuck you. Really humbled me there. You almost let out my inner demons. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, sorry, I had to fight to keep them in there because you. Ah, somebody, oh, you tried to say I was quick. Oh. Sorry. My inner demons almost got out, but. What do we? I kept them inside. What do we? They're, they're still inside of me. What do we? There are demons coming inside of me. Anyway. <clears throat> I kept them in. Chat, you, you. Chat. I'm just saying, you better subscribe, at least with Twitch Prime, because. I've just saved the whole world. I'm literally the most noble person on the planet because I just saved the planet from my fucking inner demons. So you need to subscribe now because like, I'm basically like Gandhi. Uh, no, he was a, he, not Gandhi. Cause he, you know, he, he was, he got in bed with that 14 year old. Um, it, are there any like good people that didn't turn out to be bad in the end? Who's like someone who did like great, who did like great things, but then didn't do like something like kind of mother. Ter I feel like mother Teresa did some weirdness, right? Did she not? Dr. Seuss. He was hot, uh, horrendously racist. Uh, Jimin from BTS. Yeah, you're right. I'm like Jimin from BTS. Thank you. That's what I needed. <laughs> Jimin from BTS was the example I was looking for. Wait. Fake it till you make it, that's what they say Well, I must have made it cause I've been faking every day To be inside was a crime I do time If loneliness was a race, I'd be ahead by a mile <laughs> Why does he have to be Kenny from South Park to begin with? That's what, that's what gets me That's what I'm confused, why? It didn't feel at any point necessary that he was Kenny from South Park. I just had to sit down and like really like absorb that. Cause like I don't think he had to be Kenny at any point. Why is he Kenny here? Fake it till you make it, that's what they say Well, I must have made it cause I've been faking every day To be inside was a crime I do time If loneliness was a race, I'd be ahead by a mile Interesting, I'm- yeah, fair enough. I feel like he has a deep sadness within that I can't comprehend Let's just carry on, shall we? Let me in your world, this is just a no other spot this is just, again, my own TikTok. Oh, let me in your world, you know, oh, I was beautiful. I, don't, I have no idea. This is cringy. No, it isn't. It's not cringy. Because I look handsome. Didn't you make that on stream? No, I, I made another one on stream that I po I made a different one. Hello, TikTok. Today, I'm going to be going... Wait, I want to... When did he post this? 
I didn't realize POV your dad sees you doing it too. Did this. I didn't know he posted this. When did he post this? A week ago. Oh my god, I did not see this. Hello, TikTok. Today, I'm gonna be going. Wait, I wanna get involved. Hello. Dad, I, d I don't want Let's you to. Let's do the renegade. No, that's out of date. Let's stop. Castaways. Uh, no, that we are. Stop castaways. singing Castaway! Proud of myself for that performance. Guys. Walter, Walter White, Brian Cranston, Brian Cranston won, you know how many Emmys he won for playing Walter White? Four Emmys. He won four Emmys for uh, playing Walter White. Or maybe not four Emmys, but four awards. Where are my awards? For playing the granddad character from several different people's content. Where's my Emmy? Because if you can watch this and tell me it isn't character acting at its finest. I'm going to be going. Wait, I want to get involved. Oh, hello. Oh, Dad, I, d I don't want Let's you to. Let's do the renegade. No, that's out of date. Let's stop. Castaways. Uh, no, that we are stop singing. Now, who can tell me that isn't the greatest performance? The performance of a lifetime. I, I disappear into that role. You can't tell that that's me. You not many people could watch that and know that's me. I actually have to keep talking about the character and that we're going on tour just so people know that I'm involved because I disappear so well into the character that no one even knows it's me. And that's genuinely true. That's a genuinely true thing. T tour sales, ticket sales on, on tour. T tour, you can buy tickets to the tour. I, I feel like I'm missing out. Can we, can we pause a second? What am I watching? I just, who is this character? That one's up there, because I don't really get it. Is it ironic at least? Like, it feels like it could be ironic. No, no, I, no, I'm getting the vibe it actually isn't. Yeah, no. Um, oh my god, what's my whole recommended? Kev Kennedy. All right, Kev. I like Kev Kennedy. Can I just say it? Like, I enjoy a Kev Kennedy TikTok, but that's too much. I don't like Kev Kennedy that much. That, like, really, like, wigged me out. Kev's got you covered. You don't know Kev Kennedy? He's, like, better cool soul than real life. Again, it's just my Breaking Bad obsession. Let me find you a good Kev Kennedy. Can your teacher say no when you ask to go to the bathroom? Most school policies leave bathroom requests to the teacher's discretion, allowing them to reasonably say no. However, you still have civil rights, and if you gotta go, you got to go. If you have a medical condition, it's best to get a note from your doctor that says you may have to go more often when you're in class. Remember, you'll hear them say, Kev's got, got you covered. I love him! Also, I, I've pointed this out on stream before, but I'm gonna do it again, because maybe not everyone here is, uh, not everyone here is familiar, but Kev Kennedy, every single cut, he, this is how he talks, okay? Every single cut, he will do this. So every time there's a cut in the video, he starts the sentence by going, big hands, and then he points. So he's like, he's like, it, it, so it, it, not always on the very starting of the point of the video, not always when the video starts, but every cut after that point. So it'll be like, can the teacher say no when you go to the bathroom? He's like, most school policies say that it's up to the teacher's discretion to cut. And they'll be like, but if you got civil rights, so if you need to go, like, honestly, just, just watch, just watch it again. He does it, I swear. Can your teacher oh, no, he even say does it in... no when you ask to go to the bathroom? Can your teacher say, oh, wait, shit, I fucking didn't show you guys. Watch this, watch. Can, Can your teacher, teacher say no, no when you ask to Watch. go to the bathroom? Most Big hands. Po Where's the point? To the There's the point. Big hands. Point. No. 
However, Big hands. Point. Civil rights, and if you gotta go, you got to go. If you have Big hands. It's best Point. to get a note from your doctor to see you make Every a time. often when you're in class. Remember, Big hands. You'll hear Point. Say, Kev's got you covered. <laughs> it's every cut. It's every cut. It's so great. I love it. This is another video. Dirty Big hands. Point. Against criminal suspects. Number one. Oh, big hands. Jail oh. Conversations with your sales. Big hands. Police no, no point. Big hands point. Conversation. As long as big hands point. He, he didn't really. He, he, he did this. It kind of distracted from the point. Sometimes if he has another hand gesture that's more relevant, he'll do that. Uh, but generally speaking, if there's nothing else to be doing, he's doing the big hands point. To be in recording. If you big hands point. With a cellmate, big hands point. That was two big hands and point. Big hands point. Conversations are being recorded. Number two, Big oh no no! Your property mm, no, he did number two. It distracted him. Reacts in a subtle way. The Big hands. Point. Been trained to Big hands. Can be used as probable cause Nothing here. For a search. Point. What really Big hands. A reaction. Uh, no point. Big hands. Dogs to react so point. Subtly, you may not Big hands. The Big hands. Point. For a sniff and claim point. Reacted as grounds for a search. Remember, Big hands! Point! Got you covered. I love it so much. <laughs> Every single time. If you ever get one of his videos, if you ever, ever get one of his videos pop up on your For You page, just watch for the... It's Every, it like, almost every cut. Like, it's got to be, like, 95%. Like, he does occasionally deviate, but it's so rare. I love it. I've, I, I've been watching his videos for the best part of a year, and I'm, I I watch over this every time, because I noticed it one time. And I, it, 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 it's, it's, like, almost without fail every single time that he'll, he'll do the, 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 the classic Kev Kennedy uh, big hands point. But as you've noticed, the music has begun playing, so you know what time it is. People, it is the top of the first hour, and you know what that means. I am required by law. By that, I mean law imposed on me by Manifold Legal, my own company. Which is going to be soon hiring Kev Kennedy from Kennedy Law Firm, because I need strong lawyers who... Big hands and point, but... I digress. I'm legally required to run a minute-long ad because it greatly supports this channel so I can keep reinvesting into this community and make great content. It really does help. Like, seriously, I, I really can't stress it enough. Sorry, Jack, I'm poor. That is fine. You just have to watch the ad. Like, it is fine to be broke and not be able to sub. That's why the ad exists. So you guys can support me without spending anything out of your pocket because I realize not everyone can afford to support the stream out of their own pocket. So here's a, a, a simple donation of time. One minute, that's all I ask. You can go do something else. Just as long as you leave it playing, the content will resume straight afterwards. But if you do want to skip the ad, and all the ads for the next 30 days on this channel, you can subscribe to the low, low price of 4.99, just like Miss Melanie, Nightmare, the Nico Wolf, Nightmare again. Oh no, Nightmare Raider twice, never mind, they didn't sub. Magpie, thank you for the raid there. Magpie, thank you for the gifted sub. Shannon, thank you for the gifted sub. If you guys want to do that, then you can do that and avoid all the ads. That's okay. You're rich enough? Trust me, I'm not. I'm going broke. Ever heard of Breaking Bad? Well, I'm badly bro broke. I'm badly broke. Breaking Bad? Badly broke. I've been. I'm bad. I'm broke. I'm. I have no money. Legally speaking, this is a lie. But I. I could always do with more. So I'm gonna run the ad, and I'll see you all in a second. Because I'm gonna go get up and grab some apple juice while I play. Because I want more. Enjoy.
And right on cue, Jack Manifold returns. The ad is over. Thank you so much for watching it. Welcome back. I hope you didn't miss me while I was gone. Sorry, subs. I know usually I speak to you guys while that's happening, but I did need this little break. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, stall no longer. Let's turn that music off. Get straight back into the TikTok, shall we? <clears throat> no more Kev Kennedy, as much as I love him. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? The fuck is this? It's like three frames. <laughs> it's not a tough watch, but it's weird. <laughs> it's like a frame for a movie. It's just like five animation frames of a screen. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I wouldn't really say it was a tough watch, just more like weird. It's funny though. Watch another one. Oh, that looks like it might Less be tough. I, didn't mean to, I skipped that in too far. Angie, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Oh. Oh, I had the sound off. That's why. Wait, the, the, there might have been sound attached to the last one. Hold on. Let's watch that one more time. Right. Well, really glad we uh, got to the bottom of what the sound was. Let's carry on watching. What? Rating songs. She does not like this one. Too, too scare. I'm frightened. Chill beat. Yeah, yeah, no, she's vibing to this. I get down to this. I get this. Here are your numbers, one to ten. Here are your numbers, one to ten. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Important five. song. Is this just a fucking like Samsung ringtone? Too emotional. Yeah, that's how she feels. I get that. <laughs> I get that. I, I I actually respect all of her opinions. All those were pretty well rounded. Made sense. I get I get all that. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's see what this is. When the vi this video is dedicated for my Italian ex boyfriend. Alright. She broke pasta because, like, Italians freak out. You've seen all those videos of like Italian boyfriends where like the girlfriend before she boils the pasta breaks is like Why are you breaking the pasta? Why are you breaking the pasta? And then they like have meltdowns few months BC I am hash employed now, but I am going to a family emergency and your content always helps me feel better I'm sorry about that, but thank you so much for the 25 months. I appreciate it But you guys have seen it right like there's like so many videos It's like making my Italian boyfriend mad and they'll like break some pasta before they like, boil it. And he's like, Why are you breaking the, the pasta? Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Why are you breaking the pasta? And then like, they get so irate. And it's like obviously fake because like no, surely no one gives that much of a shit. But like, <laughs> they, they, they get so irate. My send her to jail! Like, you know, they're just so upset. That's how Chris Pratt should have spoke for the Mario movie, man. I'm telling you. I forgot, I keep skipping them in instead of like to- Did you call me baby? I don't- I hate that they start muted. End of my life, thank you for the tier one. Alright, what's this? Oh my god, did you call me baby? Maybe. Oh my god, did he call her baby? Maybe. I'm not okay. Play it cool. Cause he likes that. Cool. That was cool. When Shrek was dancing at the end, that was cool. So, yeah. It was sad though. It was sad. That was tough to watch, but just because it like bubbled up some emotions for me. That was all. I wouldn't say it was a tough watch in a cringe sense. Just more like, you know, it really plays on your fucking heartstrings. It's like a sad TikTok. It's like rare. Oh. Okay. 
fucking she's having fun i like it like yeah you know i'm not gonna fucking clown on some lady for dancing like fucking older lady having some fun on tiktok whatever cool have some fun man i don't mind it's a lot of shit like that i don't, I don't really care for stuff like you know that's whatever ladies having fun Oh, there's no sound. Colin! Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. What's this? Careful, snowflakes. I've got more coffee than your opinions. What? What? I've seen her before. She, like, she, like, really hates liberal snowflakes. Uh, but, but, I, I I've, like, seen ones that are, like, I, I, I I've, like, I, I I fucking drank coffee stronger than your like opinion or, or your emotions, or whatever. Me and my boss asked why I've not posted. Why are Domino's UK and Ireland getting involved? <laughs> what does this mean, Coffee Wolf? I'm with Emily. What does this mean? I'm just not quite. This isn't a tough watch, but yeah, someone said it in chat. Perplexing watch. I'm I'm befuddled. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm I'm just. She's got more coffee than my opinions, which admittedly might be true because I don't think my opinions have coffee because, well, one, I don't really drink coffee anyway, but two, their opinions. Uh, I, I swear the original is like, I, I've drank, okay, Snowflake, I've drank coffee stronger than your fucking you or whatever, but like. Careful, Snowflakes. I've got more coffee than your opinions. Is she saying that, like, y y she has more coffee than I have opinions? But, like, don't liberal- Don't fucking, like, like, Trumpoids think that, like, fucking, like, <laughs> like, liberals are, like, mega opinionated, right? Like, like, they have opinions. I don't- What? I'm really confused. No coffee is strong- Fucking hell, all right! Someone going for her for having glasses. Fuck me. You don't, you don't have to go for her for that. Trumpoids. I'm just saying, like, right wing people. I don't know. Trumpoid felt like an appropriate term. I've. Oh. I've had a scar ever since I was little. How? Have you checked your nose, Pinocchio dupe? You're such a liar. Cut in for K. Oh, and you do wear makeup. Why, babe, keep this up, you will go far. What? I've had a scar ever since I was little. Have you checked your nose, Pinocchio dupe? You're such a liar. Cut in for K. Oh, and you do wear makeup. Am I am I meant to believe that these Barbie dolls are like beefing? Is that like is that the the, the, the takeaway? Oh my god! Like the, the, this, the, they're like it's like a whole universe. So do these two have beef? It's about Scar Girl. What TikTok Scar Girl? I have no idea. What? I I'm confused. Oh, let's just watch. Let's watch this. What's this? If Disney characters got a bad ending and bad and bad ending, okay. Well, this. What if Buzz Lightyear got abandoned by Andy and turned into a serial killer? Well, like, like, like Chucky coded. Like he, like, he, like he, he stops giving a fuck about like whether people know he's alive and like he. I mean, he's pretty vulnerable. Like, he fell down the stairs one time and broke. I don't think he's gonna... I'm, like, sensing that this has got to be ironic, right? Surely. Like, that's surely... If unironic, tough watch. But I'm... <laughs> the fucking... Was tough. That, that was slightly tough. That was the... That, that, that got me a little bit. <laughs> you actually don't have a friend in me. You have a fucking enemy in me, clearly. 
Hello, all my furries. This is why you should not go against your mother. Get into this world. <laughs> oh <laughs> God Christ almighty Right hang on hang on hang about hang about Oh Hello all my furries This is why you should not go against your mother Get into this world <laughs> They don't stop filming so they cut off the bit where he says she bought you in so he just goes into this world and then as he's being fucking choked. <laughs> oh. Nah, I like this part of cynical video goes hard. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, no, I'm not interested. Oh, hey. Mind if I get your number? Um, no, I'm not interested. Uh, all good, don't worry about it. Yeah. Hey. I don't normally ask twice, but what do you say, milady? Holy moly! Yeah! Well, I mean, what can I say? I mean, th that's how I did it. You know, that's how I did it. I mean, everyone always wonders, like, people, when I, I said I had a girlfriend, everyone was like, how did he do that? That's how I did it. So like it's a tried and tested math. It works, you know. I I wasn't gonna reveal it because like, fuck now everyone's gonna have a girlfriend, you know. But like, shit, it's out there, you know. I'm, I'll admit it. It's what I did. You know, hands up, you got me, you know. That scene where Walter White goes, "You got me." That's me right now. That's all I can say. I mean, that's all I can say. What can I? What What can I say? Apparently, oh fuck's sake, buzz haircuts. So, let's give it a try. What's this? Girls with buzz haircuts? I, again, it worked for me, guys. Guys, it worked for me. It worked for me. Let me have a sip of AJ. It worked for me. Apparently, girls love buzz haircuts, so let's give it a try. So, this is my natural hair. Haven't had it done yet, as, as you can see. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Is that you calling my phone? You see what I did there? <laughs> Shout out to my barber dog. You got it, dude. Peace out. <laughs> Fuck did I just watch? <laughs> I, I I do like the uh <laughs> I do like the reference to the fucking shout out to my barber dog. It's a good reference, but I I I am a little bit confused. Apparently girls love buzz haircut. Is buzz, the joke buzz, the it's the phone? same guy? Buzz buzz, is that you call my phone? You see what I did there? <laughs> shout out to my barber dog. You got it, dude. I, I respect the buzz buzz. Is that you ringing my phone? See what I did there? I get the joke. Because phones would buzz if they were being called. But also, he's received a buzz cut. Is this a buzz cut? No, it's not. But I respect. Uh, it's a good joke. I'm, I'm going to say it. This is. This. Uh, I call back to the Buzz Lightyear bad ending as well. I can go from very friendly and happy to. I'm going to dice you up into a million pieces and stick it up your I don't even want to know where he's going to stick it. I can guess and I think it's inside my leaky asshole, but I what I don't even get it cuz how is he going to cut me up into a million pieces and I'm still gonna, how am I still going to have an asshole remaining? To have the, the pieces shoved inside. That's what I don't get. But maybe maybe he's going to dice me into a million pieces. And then just kind of take the asshole piece. And just pop all the other pieces through it. But that seems a waste of fucking time. Um, I don't think this is ironic. I think this is real. I can go from very friendly and happy. To. I'm going to dice you up. Into a million pieces. 
and stick it up your. No, that. Yeah, no, that's that's terrifying. That, that that might be the toughest watch we've seen. Not because not because it's cringy. In fact, because it's just terrifying. Like I'm just actually scared. Like the, uh, I could run into this man one day, and he could be nice and friendly. Uh, he could look like this and be nice and friendly, and then uh, and then I, I might say one wrong word, and his eyes will turn red like a demon, and he's gonna dice me up into a million pieces, a million. How, you know how much time that's gonna take? A million's a lot. That it's a terrifying thought. That's why this is a tough watch because I'm gonna have fucking nightmares now. Do not send me this shit like this again. You will be banned. Hi, Paul. Hi. You didn't tell anyone you were coming, did you? Uh, no. Ha <laughs> Of course you didn't. Come in, Bubba. Do you want a hot chocky wocky? Um, I guess. Yeah. Why, why is his arm, like, inside his shirt? This is so far very good, by the way. Yeah? Probably haven't heard this song. Fucking knew it. You know what I take away from the Paul situation? I feel so bad for George Ezra, right? He makes the Green Green Grass song. I, I'm not a big fan of it, right? I, 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 I actually quite like George Ezra as far as it goes, but I, I don't really like the Green Green Grass song, but whatever. He makes that song, right? And now, whenever anyone hears it, they instantly associate it with that fucking creep from TikTok. Paul, you've not seen Paul? I'm, I'm sure we actually haven't had any Paul TikToks sent in. Um, because, I mean, let's face it. Yeah. Well, you know, either way, uh, let me just uh, play, please. Oh, I guess, I guess it doesn't want to. Is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Uh, at the chip shop, looking like a swag, fucking on the manager's dick for a bag. You got ten quid, let me give you a shag. I'm looking for a dealer, I'm gonna need a ten bag. Is she? And I think that's possibly summed it all up. Uh, that's Paul. No, oh, yeah, that's it, actually. That's all I, I think I actually showed you enough. But yeah, he, he really liked that Green Green Grass song for a bit. And I feel very guilty, uh, or very sorry, sorry, for uh, George Ezra, for the fact that now he is completely associated with that, for the, potentially forever. Oh, fucking hell. Christ almighty. Do you need Dr. R2? How does he make that noise? Is Tobo here? Oh, welcome Tobo. I assume you saw the Paul TikTok. Do you need Dr. R2? That's, that's a crazy noise for a human being to make. Like, 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 how, like, rattling that is. Sorry, that's just something. <laughs> Please put your teeth back in. I really would have preferred that he, uh, had put it. Let's just listen to that sound. <laughs> that's fucking madness. That sounds like a helicopter going overhead. Either way. Uh, not the hardest watch I've ever seen, but yeah, we know it's it's, it's whatever. It's, it's not great either. I get it. Ooh. One, two, three. Oh, look, everyone! It's my good friend Face Face. We are now on game number three, which is how many straws I need to drink my orange juice. Ha! You are so full. AJ, it, it, apple juice. But hey, hey, I digress. Thank you for giving Tubbo a, a sub. He needed that. The fact. Give me another one. Most people buy one face wash, but I have to buy three. <laughs> you are full of surprises, face face, and so is this game. It wasn't really a tough watch. It was just kind of, it's like a weird game review a bit, but I, I like YouTube game reviewers a lot. I, I You know, I still want to make a video essay slash review channel, like really badly. In fact, I'm going to do it after boxing because uh, I'm, I'm too obsessed with media at the moment. I'm watching so much behind the scenes of like Breaking Bad or just anything, like anything ever. I just keep watching the behind the scenes and stuff. At the moment, it's Breaking Bad because I just finished it. But like anything, man. Uh, so I, I'm going to, uh, this shit I want to talk about, like, um, you know, 
I, I, uh, I, I kind of want to speak about Wes Anderson a little bit. I need to watch more of his movies because I've only really watched a couple. But like even the clips I've seen of the other ones, I, I'm just in love with the way Wes Anderson films look visually. Um, like I think by far, despite the fact that I haven't seen so much of his stuff, it's my favorite visual style I've ever seen. I know there's a new movie of his coming out. Yeah, the, the trailer for it looks beautiful. But um, yeah, either way, we'll, we'll watch it in a moment because I do want to talk about it. Oh, uh, hello. I honestly thought it was Skylar White from Breaking Bad. I, I've actually got a mental illness. I need help! This, is, the, the Breaking Bad thing is a problem. Guys, I unironically thought I saw Skylar. I really need, a pro I need help. Guys, Breaking Bad, I, I can't shake it. I apologize to Anakin. That's quite uncomfortable. It's quite uncomfortable when the kid like bites his lip. Uh, that f that's, that's fucked. That trend as a whole, because I imagine this is a trend. Is uncomfortable. He's becoming pyrocynical. Blame pyrocynical. That man cannot help, but if he enjoys something, he's got to shill it to everyone he knows. And I'm susceptible to to, to it. I'm like, uh, I fall victim to his shilling. I'm trying to hook me on Breaking Bad for the past, like, however long I've known him. Two years? I feel like the rattling noise as she moves is really, really unintentionally funny. I feel like there's, like, a little rattle, like, in the soundtrack as she moves. You know what I mean? Like the little rattling noise. You know what I mean? That's what I'm gonna say. Also, just just before someone pointed out, you know, I, nah, it's fine. They're not kissing. My Are you saying there's something wrong with my lips? They're not kissing my lip in me. What? Are you saying there's something wrong with my lips? They're not kissing my Libby me. Oh, she's Libby May. Why is she? Oh, no, this one's bad. This one's up there. This might be number three behind uh, fucking off-brand Walt Jr. And, and fucking um, pretty woman. Pretty woman. Pretty woman. Yeah, right. Well, I, I don't know who Libby May is, but... Libby me? Yeah, no, not, not a fan of that one. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. <laughs> Fucking Minecraft ass line. I wish I had more TNT. <laughs> perfect. Fucking perfect. Oh. Oh, that's good. I've never seen Heather's. Fucking, I honestly thought it was a Minecraft parody. Swear you don't hear people say TNT outside of Minecraft, man. Oh. Yeah, South Park shit like that always gets me because I feel like Sam South Park is so like the antithesis of. Like that sort of cringe, like AU type stuff. Like I'm not, I'm calling it cringe because uh, partially because I think it is. But like I was super into like Undertale AU comic art, like as as when I was younger. Right, I used to love Undertale AUs, but I feel like South Park doesn't lend itself the way that like Undertale did. Uh, so whenever I see South Park, I'm always like so baffled. I'm like, there are South Park fans that are in- I feel like South Park fans don't strike me as the type of people that are into that sort of stuff. But I, I'm always shocked by, like, the, the demographic of South Park. Either way, that's all. I'm, I think South Park's, like, uh, demographic always just, like, shocks me. I don't know. It's not what I think it is. Either way. Um, I was going to show you something. I had a thought. Oh, have you guys seen the new, seen the new Northern Boys song? A up. Four months with the bald man. Thank Let's you. Go. Thank you, Terry. Uh, have you guys seen the new Northern Boys song? I show you guys. The no I played the new. I played Northern Boys on stream before. They released a new song, and a lot of people are praising it as being a um. 
a lot of people are praising it as being uh, it's sort of like one of the one of the greatest pride tracks in the modern day. And I'm curious what you guys think. Th- by the way, this is my words. I- I've genuinely seen so many people saying like like this is actually a very good sort of like pride anthem. And I'm curious what people think about this because they're like kind of like a like a like a old, a bunch of old guys that rap. But I just want to see what people think of it about this. Okay, won't play right now. Now, this isn't the whole song, of course, but what do we think? Because I'm going to be for real. I think, I think it, it like somehow it like, it like manages to be a comedy song that actually addresses it very like nicely. There's also a line in there that, that uh, there's like a, like a bridge to the chorus that goes something along the lines of uh, uh, one time for the ladies, one time for the men, one time for everyone in between. Yeah, you got to love them. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fucking, it's good. It's good. It's good. I, I, I wondered what people thought um, because obviously like I, I, I'm, I'm not gay. Like, I, I can't really comment. But like, I saw a lot of people praising it and I was like, I mean, from what I can tell, it seems good. So uh, I'm, I'm glad people like it. Also, again, just going straight back to the Northern Boys. Uh, as we all know, uh, PKJ uh, did, uh, PKJ is Patrick. He's the, he's the guy that wasn't in the dress. He did, um, 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 he did uh, a recently a, uh, a freestyle that I thought was... <laughs> Well, it had one of the greatest bars that I've ever heard. Rapped, ever. I just want to show you guys this. Oh, fuck. Some reason when you pause it, you can't play it. I'm a big jerk. Ball swinging in my flip flops. Jack top, Jack Russell with a big cock. White short sleeve, tuck it in the boot cuts. Flex both pecs to the women in the chip shop. Shh. I said stay less. Plow through women like a train wreck. Kill a man for the paycheck. Put a pole in his back. Gay sex. I'm, a- I'm just saying kill a man for the paycheck put a pole on his back gay sex is an incredibly cleverly written and sick bar I don't care if he's 70 years old 80 years old however old he is it, it's a good bar it's a good bar it's clever it's clever I like it I like it it's my favorite. I think. It, I think if you were to ask me my favorite rap bar ever, I think I'd say that. I love it. I think it's great. He, this one up probably has a good one. No, I think it was this one. Now f- you and your fat mother. She could use this probably has something good in here. I could make a rap from a back blubber sale to the long lost worlds on the back, brother. And you're a virgin. You've never had sex with a person. You've only had sex with your eyes and we both know that ain't right, man. And I'm hot Fly than a pilot in a cockpit Your nana's got a neck like an ostrich A telecom gobble on this PK cock Now Eminem would not diss these men He would lose That's all I've got to say That's all I have to say Eminem would not diss these men That was a fucking terrifying stare. I had someone look at me like that once in real life and it fucking freaked me the fuck out. Like I actually struggled to talk to them. She she has a scary like gaze. That's horrific. Like I'm sorry, that actually like that glance is really quite scary. Okay, no, someone said it in chat. 
it, it, it's 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 that bad that someone said it from in chat and i'm I, look you can just read i i actually feel cruel so i'm not gonna say it but like no i'm not mad someone said it in chat Not Sid the Sloth, no, no. I, I, I feel bad for even saying it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna fucking... I feel bad for even acknowledging it. That's my bad, sorry. I saw I saw a striking resemblance, but I feel like it's not a flattering resemblance. Someone else pointed out in the chat, so like, I, I don't think I, you know... It's, it, I saw a resemblance, but I, I feel... I don't want to say it. I don't fucking hate on the girl, bless her. Like, I, I already feel... I kind of was saying it. I'm like, look, the, scares, the stare is scary, but let's not take the piss out of her, all right? I feel guilty. I... I I've had a fucking moment of conscious and like I've remembered that real people exist through the screens that I'm talking to. I'm not, uh, you know, it's easy enough. It's easy to take the piss sometimes, but I feel bad now. <laughs> Why does it appear? Now, if you weren't to read the captions, if you weren't to read the captions, it's an it's uncomfortable. It's cringy. It's like okay, cool, yeah, bitches come and go, funny, whatever. Does it not appear that he he knocks on a door, opens it? Speaks for a second and then receives obliterating head, like 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 the the the, the most soul sucking head you've ever seen. Does it not appear that way? Watch it without. Like, ignore the captions for a second. Ignore the narrative. He comes in. He talks a little bit. <laughs> he fucking comes. <laughs> He fucking, he comes a fucking load right at the end. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, 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 I hit my hand a bit hard. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, fucking toe curling. Anyway, uh, this guy, this guy, this could be the toughest watch of the day because this guy could be unbearable. Roses are red and violets are blue. So am I. Help me too. What? What? That doesn't make sense. Also, what's the fucking like... Like, whole other shot for the millennial pause at the start. Like, like, there's like a whole other fucking shot for the millennial pause. Roses are red and violets are blue. So am I. Help me too. What does it mean? Is it a blue balls joke? Oh, it might be a blue balls joke. It's usually sexual with him. His balls are blue. Yeah, I'm getting the vibe that he's got, like, blue balls. I thought he was sad, but... I think he was sad, but yeah, I think he's got blue balls. I think that's what it is. Fuck's sake. Why does everybody think we fuck? Why are you just grabbing my head? Why are you just grab my fucking head? There was no reason for that. You didn't have to grab me by the fucking Swede. Alright, come on. Thank you for the uh, three gifted subs. I needed that. I, I really needed to recover from that. That helped a lot. Thank you. you you're, a, you're a brave soul. Really. Atlas, thank you for the 23 months as well. What's this? You know what? Fuck! Okay! 
Fuck. Fuck. I was about to say, you know what? You can rip on furries all you want. And, and like, look, uh, look. It's one of those things that's weird to me because I'm not into it. But at the end of the day, they actually that actually look like a lot of fun. I was about like they look like they're having a lot of fun. They all like seem to be you know it's nice to be with a bunch of people you share a similar interest with and all that. And and then the the fucking shotgun meme. I, I, was, I was literally about to be like, oh, it's actually really wholesome. You know what? As, as much as you can think it's weird, they really, they look like they're having fun. And then ugh, fuck's sake. Okay, that's what you get for clicking on TikTok recommended. Ugh. Okay, what's this? <laughs> the fucking rigid movement. The way he like goes, like, he, he like goes. That, that. <laughs> the way he like locks into place, he's like. <laughs> I can't even do it. I, think I, can... I, can't, I don't think I can do it. I think I did it the first couple of times. But yeah, it's funny. I get it. It's cringy. <laughs> <laughs> 